Hi, I'm Tom from Gear for Music and I'm joined today by Adam Waitman and today we're going to be exploring how you can take your sound to the next level with the Kawhi CN29. Kawhi pianos are renowned for having a beautiful sound on their acoustic instruments. So we're just going to have a look today at how that translates into their digital instruments. So how does this compare to an acoustic ground? Uh, this has the first patch on here is the SKEX um, sample, which is unbelievably accurate to uh, the actual playing the real acoustic piano. So it's sampled from those uh, those pianos and Again, with the with the kind of key action and the uh, the let off simulator, you get the feel of playing a real piano, um, and accompanied by the actual sound. So the sound there is really quite a delicate sound. So it'd be ideal for playing in a more relaxed setting, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's a very it's a, it's a very mellow sound. It's a very kind of um, sensitive uh, sort of grand piano. Um, if you want something a little bit more brighter, then you've got the EX, which is um, which is a bit more. It's just a bit more kind of uh, yeah bright and kind of. So it's a bit more bold. So if you you sort of playing a bit more with an orchestra or something along those lines, so you really sort of stand out and you can have both of those at home. Exactly, yeah, and it, and it's it's definitely uh, the the thing that will just keep you wanting to play is to be able to switch between those sounds and you've still got the you can access the virtual technician uh, in the OLED screen here and make adjustments to make it just that little bit more personal. So you can really refine the tone much more and sort of have much more control over it, can't you? Yeah, if you want to. I think that's the, not everyone's going to want to do that, but if you do want to delve into it, it's it's there if you want to. So you can just easily just switch on and get playing and you know you've got a great sound under your fingers. I think that's the most important thing when you sit down in front of, in front of the machine is you want the first sound to be one that you just want to sit and play, which is what it is. And obviously having these two prestigious pianos, a lot of prestigious players around the world do play as, as yourself does as well. Yeah, and they're accurate. That's the, that's the key thing. It's not just the name. It's the sample from those actual pianos. So what you're getting is, is a genuine um, you know, replication of, of the actual pianos. And it's all housed in a cabinet like this, so it's really got quite a small footprint, especially compared to, say, a nine-foot concert grand. <laughs> yes, a, a little bit easier to sort of fit in your house. Very much so. So it's got a lot of features. I mean, you can even get them in, in different colours. So it's quite nice that you've got your music rest that'll sit flat as well, so that's quite helpful if you wanted to maybe put your laptop on top because there's some additional features there where you can plug in, isn't there? Yeah, absolutely. And it just makes it a little bit more... Uh, more functional, as you say, with a laptop or iPad or whatever, you can put it on the top, put it on the stand. Um, and it's also, on, with the, going back to the keys, it's got this ivory touch feel, so it really does feel a little bit more like a, like a grand piano. So for those people who want to do a bit of recording, but actually are probably foremost a piano player, so you've actually got a good action and the feel, rather than sort of having the more waterfall style keys that's Say a MIDI controller or something like that would have. Yeah, and again, if you, if you're a you know if you if you're a, a pianist and you're learning, having that uh, accuracy to being so similar to a, a real ground piano makes all the difference. And it has got the Bluetooth MIDI built in, so plug it into your computer, so you can easily record that way, can't you? Straight into a, a DAW or something. So as a beginner, I think that would be really quite crucial if you want to sort of play in and play back exactly what you've been doing to really sort of refine your performance. Yeah, again, it's kind of, you need to have all those options and different different players will use different parts of it. There will be people that will just sit down and just play, you know, the, the SKEX piano sample and that will be as far as they ever go, which is absolutely perfect. But there will be others, you know, maybe younger students who will be more keen to get involved with Bluetooth MIDI and stuff. So it's really quite nice to hear 
the sort of faithfully recreated sounds because obviously that translates quite well through the Onkyo sound system. So having such a prestigious brand as Onkyo produce this crisp articulated sound through their system is really quite crucial as well, isn't it? Well, yeah, it's just taking the, as you say, kind of uh, authentically um, crafted sounds from the SK uh, grand and you've just, you're just making it even, even better. So Adam, as a performer, how do you really feel that this can help develop your sound? I think when you've got the combination of, of the action, which makes it so easy to play, and the great sound, you're one step ahead already. And as I said before, if you just want to sit down and write or play or perform, the combination of those things are what's important. So thank you for taking the time out to, to come and speak to us today because we really appreciate you talking through the Kawaii CN29. If you've liked the video, please click like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.